Thank you very much, President. Even a few years ago, it seemed impossible that the EU would use trading measures to penalise those who are damaging the environment and exploiting workers. Today, we're delighted to say that the EU will include social and environmental standards within its anti-dumping measures. This is a huge win for the Greens and our supporters after years of campaigning and a historic step by the EU as the first member of the WTO to do this. This will now mean that goods produced with low labour standards or those that are harmful to the environment, such as the mining industry, will face investigation of their environmental impacts. If they have cut standards to cut costs, this will affect their ability to export. The next step is for the Commission to adopt a clear and transparent method for measuring these impacts so that the anti-dumping policy can come into effect. While the EU is making progress on trade policy, Brexit Britain looks weaker and more isolated than ever. As we saw with the Trump steel tariffs fiasco, two visits by Trade Minister Fox to the US left him empty-handed. The US and other trading giants would laugh in the face of a lone United Kingdom that tries to protect its industry from tariffs or dumping. We need to stay part of a strong and democratic trading bloc if we are to have any hope of using trade as a tool to protect our workers and the natural world around us.